Shit is gonna hit the fan. Hey guys, welcome. It is day 265 of 366 where I'm reading The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and giving you my two cents on the passage of the day. Today is February 18th. Prepare for the storm. This is the true athlete, the person in rigorous training against false impressions. Remain firm, you who suffer. Don't be kidnapped by your impressions. The struggle is great, the task divine to gain mastery, freedom, happiness, and tranquility. And that's from Epictetus and Discourses. Epictetus also used the metaphor of a storm, saying that our impressions are not unlike extreme weather that can catch us and whirl us about. When we get worked up or passionate about an issue, we can relate. But let's think about the role of the weather in modern times. Today, we have forecasters and experts who can fairly accurately predict storm patterns. Today, we're defenseless against a hurricane only if we refuse to prepare or heed the warnings. If we don't have a plan, if we never learned how to put up storm windows, we will be at the mercy of these external and internal elements. We're still puny human beings compared with 100 mile per hour winds, but we have the advantage of being able to prepare, being able to struggle against them in a new way. Shit is gonna hit the fan. Shit happens, folks. And be prepared as much as you can. Um, I was listening to another podcast. I I forget what it was. Talking about a, a Shaolin monk had said that uh, you really need to prepare and be completely responsible for everything. If you are walking down the street and you get mugged in the evening, it is your fault. It is your fault for not preparing and learning Kung Fu since you were five years old and training every day of your life. Take as much responsibility as you can and prepare for these things because stuff happens. My, um, you know, I'm, I have two little ones of my own now. And it's like, if I don't have life insurance, that is, uh, fairly irresponsible of me. And, uh. Really, my sister also got life insurance. You know, we got to that age having kids. But uh, earlier this year, my sister has a, I believe a three, five, and eight or nine-year-old daughter. I think she just turned nine. And um, earlier this year, their dad was in a motorcycle accident. and He didn't make it. And my sister's had a really, really hard year because of it. He didn't have life insurance. And they were left with nothing. So they had to grieve and also struggle. Um, stuff's going to happen. We're going to lose people. We're going to be injured ourselves. And uh, be prepared as much as you can. And uh, have a plan for different things. Maybe if, um, you know, and you can see the warnings in advance, like the, the weather can be predicted. If you have a grandparent or something that isn't doing so well, make sure you visit them and tell them that you love them. Um, especially if they could, you know, they could go at any moment. I think you should tell all your friends and family you love them anyway, because you, you never know. And, uh. Put money away for a rainy day. There's going to be expenses. I bought this house uh, four years ago, and we pretty much had to replace everything in it. Water heater went out. We had to put in a brand new furnace. It's yada, 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 yada. All these things happen. So prepare as best you can. And uh, that's all I got for today, guys. See you tomorrow.